Born in a windmill. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, today we're going to take this out for its first load. Well, we've got some spring weed contracted and I'm going to load that up here at the yard so I can take it to the highway the first trip and not have to just run empty down the gravel. And then I got a load of barley to go to the ranch and then also a half a load of corn to go to another ranch. So, uh, yeah, getting it aired up. Got the air hooked up to the primary tank there. Maybe it's, yeah, primary tank is on this side, I believe. And uh, we'll fire it up and we'll get out of here, hook it up to the Super Bees. the conveyor here. Tall stacks and definitely have to be careful with that. Of course it's too dark to see. Alright. Show you guys the difference between the low beams and the high beams. Doesn't look like much on here, but I can see all the corrals back there. The open barn really shows up. Crazy. Uh, Amazon, link below if you're interested in some really good LED lights for trucks. Anything that takes a 4x6 square lights, they're awesome. Highly recommend them. I'm really liking these loading lights. Those are nice. The Wilsons don't have that. Probably an option. But they're on these trailers. They were on the uh, steel Super Bs as well. But... All right, I think the belt's warmed up enough. We can go center up a little more. Well, I got the Super Bs loaded, started over there, and then ended up coming over to this bin to finish loading with the 8 inch auger. That's only running on one cylinder. So that's why it's really bright out now because it took forever. So there's not enough power to pull a full auger. So ran it about a quarter full. But I got this truck going too. We gotta get a load of corn this afternoon. And since there's only 600 bushels that I got to sell, we'll take this truck. Was quick that's already loaded let's get these things moved get that auger to the shop so get that fixed here one of these days well so far i haven't really had a big deal to pull to see how the pyrometer reacts and how warm we get don't have any idea what that load gauge is supposed to be at yet so when i get to the elevator we'll try and just weigh the truck there's not a bunch of trucks in line see what the truck alone weighs and then I'll know what my gate should be there on my drives. So, but the unfortunate part is, see how dirty my trailers are? Yeah, frosty morning, dusty gravel roads. I'm gonna have to get some water over at that new shed here soon so we can, can keep stuff clean. There is a pipeline project coming through over there, so that'll definitely help get some soft water so we can pressure wash stuff off and whatnot. So, yeah. Bummer about gravel roads, amongst other things. All right, see you at the elevator. I bet there'll be some Jake breaks before then, though. Just for you. 
I was right. They sure sound a lot better. Seven inch straight pipes and five inch ones. I quit so snappy. Do you ever wonder how they deliver those white fertilizer hopper bottom bins in our yard? Couple coming down the highway here. Pulled by a sweet old cab over? Nice. There you go, there you know. Alright, let's see how this thing pulls. Just a few trucks in front of me today. That'll work. Well, we're dumping the first hopper. I was plenty light on the drive, so we gotta take that air gauge up probably to 70 instead of 50 psi. That's my guess. Well, I'm here to load barley, and the battery's dead on the auger. I wasn't even paying attention if I left the key on or not, but I don't have jumper cables because the truck's not completely ready to go yet. So using my tart power and some flag underground wire marked stuff for uh, my wires. That's it for a while. See if we get anywhere, I guess. All right, I got the belt loosened up for the hydraulic pump. Ooh, like 10 minutes, might be somewhere. I had to use some jumper cables, it wasn't getting anywhere, and I'm on site for my gas tank empty, so I had to get some gas to get it running, so. Yeah, now we can go load the bottle. Well, we're loaded in the westbound. the same place that uh, Tim was hauling to earlier where he had to back into the bail bin uh, but we got an auger today uh, swing away with a little jump conveyor or jump auger working pretty good Looks pretty good. Well, back three hoppers are done. Just the front one to go again. So easy. I love new trailers. into the shed here and this is going to be perfect because I need tools in here 
There's a few things in that truck, and I just sold that truck today, so the guy's gonna come up and pick it up here pretty quick. There it goes. Green truck's gone. Gonna pull battery cables off the batteries on this quick. I don't have. Um, whatchamacallit, disconnect on it yet. So, let's disconnect the battery so the batteries don't go dead. These Mickles openers draw a little power the way it looks. And we've kind of been fighting it from the shop with not being charged. So, the wrench is out. And do that quick. Well, there we go, all disconnected. Time to go home for the day. Our trucking tomorrow. Here we go with a load of corn. Well, the elevator here isn't open yet, but they're really nice to work with. So they got me the scale head turned around so I can weigh after hours. I weighed here yesterday for the barley too. So I pulled them coming back. Can you turn that around for me? Well, we're unloaded. Headed to town, grab an empty weight. Well, good morning. We are not on the farm, obviously. Well, you can't tell, we're just in the car, but we just pulled up to Crary. We're gonna go do a factory tour because we're in town here for the full pot event this weekend. So, or week, so during the week. All right. Middle of the week. Middle of the week. Yeah. All right, let's go see what's going on here. Okay, Natalie, what do you think those are? What do you think that thing does? It looks like a brown milk inside of it, but that's not what it is. It throws dirt. What? Yeah, that thing throws dirt. It's a trencher. It throws dirt like 200 feet. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh man, that's a horrible picture of Zach. Well, this is Tim and he's gonna give us a tour. And uh, when we first started working with Prairie, I thought they were just aerial and, and uh, big time. Yeah, just that kind of stuff. But they got a whole bunch of other companies which are so we've got our Lockwood brand, uh, which is everything to commercially grow and harvest potatoes. Uh, that's mostly field equipment. Uh, we've got our Curry Bearcat brand, which is uh, a lot of professional outdoor uh, products to help maintain uh, acreage, like lawn vacuums and wood chippers and uh, uh, debris loaders and things like that. Uh, we've also got our water management. We've got some posters back here of all our products, but we have the water management products, which is our tile plows, uh, surface ditcher, called the Revolution Ditcher. Uh, it's been a real popular product for us. Of course, we got our egg products, which is big tops, cutting systems, air reels, uh, wind systems. And then, uh, um, yeah, we've got a line of fans and uh, that we build for OEMs, which is basically air delivery uh, for like grain carts and, and uh, planters, uh, seed carts. So not just air reels? Nope. Or we air got, bars? We've got a lot of brands. <laughs> Are you being on today, Macy? What? Are you being on today? Every day? Those look those look familiar. Could use one of those for about three hours and we take care of all of our drainage problems on the farm. If you guys don't know what that is, that's a tile plow for that you put in the back of your tractor. Look on the back of the quad track and then we could put tile down through that boot and out the back. The seed bowl, these tank is up top, all the potato seeds go in there. Potato seed planter, if you can't hear them. So here's the completed one. Seed gums into the big box and back. The little conveyor that brings it to the front, and then the seed cups bring it to the front and drop it in the ground. So that's that's basically like our boot on an air drill, our tip. We like to open the ground, and then some closing discs back there. Not a Montana thing. Well, not a dry land Montana thing. So it'll create this part. how thick that was and it was cut but that's like half inch plate half inch plate yeah. 
little better than a plasma cutter could do. Right. <laughs> so that plate is going to be cut out like this. So that's the whole drawing. They're going to use every square inch of that sheet as they can. Okay. Huh. It's got that extra yep. lip or whatever. Yep. Some carbonization. So every piece that comes out of there, he said, he has to run on the wire wheel to clean it up. Is that a wire wheel or an abrasive? Yeah, just to get everything kind of cleaned up on the edges. This is a new laser. Those all thread on, so they all spin together the same. Oh, cool. That's cool. High calibrate for each material when it's hot. That thing does move fast. My goodness. Just checking out the depth of the steel. Fire the laser! That's cool to watch. That's nuts. They can be yours for a million dollars, Natalie. <laughs> We're getting the green cart this summer. I didn't pay that much. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a few of the parts it's cut. That's five eighths thick, three quarter thick. That is a pretty clean cut. One inch. One inch, wow. <laughs> Next part's already loaded and there it goes. Here's a finished sheet. He was telling me that they've got just a little bit of a nub, but that doesn't cut all the way through. So I'll finish that out over there. But they have to leave that on there because here is the grabber. That's a big forks that go underneath inside of all the, the cut off, the stand up or whatever you want to call that. And that's how they bring it out and it goes out of here. So all completely automated. Loads the sheets on that side, brings out the finished on this side. Is that crazy or what? Yeah. All sorts of welding stations where all the different parts going together before it hits the paint line. So you just explained to us the paint line here. Everything starts here, wraps around, it goes through a wash, and then gets dried, powder coated, and out the other end. So that's powder coated already. You can see down the line, you can, you can see the heat waves in there. Oh yeah, you see the heat waves where it's drying the steel. Then here goes the bake oven here. There's steel currently being baked in there. A lot of finished product, ready for assembly. Well, that is the curry tour. I love going to factories and seeing tours, checking everything out. It's really fun to see, mostly because I like how to figure out how to weld things and see how they do it and i really want one of those million dollar plasma laser tables laser tables my laser table that's not gonna happen though mm -hmm. anyways on to the next thing in town what did we have to take a detour for the cage tractor factory come on are we uh, are we going into it not today uh, too much going on too busy just taking a hot lap around it though <laughs> hot lap. it's going pretty fast 35, he's going 31, Aaliyah. Speed limit's 35. You can't even get back there to the tractors, can you? Oh, trust me, Walkers and I did this when we were here for Big Iron. <laughs> Ooh, more tractors. Are there any of the new new ones, like the 715s? The new news? The new news? No, I don't see them. I bet you those ones are hidden. 
Yeah, there's a blue one. <laughs> Ooh, they're testing the payloaders. You wanna go drive Ooh, on? They're driving on a little course. Yeah, going over bumps. <laughs> Speed bumps. You better not go over those. I'm trying to do my math right here. <laughs> You're doing your math? <laughs> Me too. So do you have to tell you. Zoom doing in on car. that thing. The original quad track. Oh, okay. The 9380. 90, yeah, 9380 probably. <laughs> Well, we made it back home from Fargo. Had a great time at the full pot event that Curry put on. Thanks for all you guys that came in and said hi and uh, did the meet and greet. And a lot of you guys got to take home some pretty cool uh, door prizes. So next year, maybe in two years, I'm not sure they do another one, but uh, definitely was a good time. So come see the next, see us at the next one. So, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video.